Hi guys, so today I'm going to show you how to set up and scan for stocks in the Thinkorswim platform. On this channel, my aim is to help you learn all about day trading and how to become consistently profitable so you can create a full-time income as a day trader. So if you're new here, please consider subscribing and hit the bell notifications for updates as it really helps with the YouTube algorithm. And if you have any questions, please leave a comment below and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. So to begin with, make sure you have the Thinkorswim platform open and then go to the top of the page and click on the scan tab here. And once you've done that, just underneath, make sure the stock hacker tab here is selected as we are scanning for stocks. Another setting you need to check so you know that you're scanning the right category is go to where it says scan in just here and go to category and select all stocks. If this isn't set, you may get some search results that don't meet your criteria and that may become confusing when trading. Now just a side note, you can set up your own predefined scan or you have the option of using a preset scan that is already set up for you to use. Just go over to the top right hand side of the screen and click on the tab with the three lines on it here. Then just come down to load scan query here and you have the option of choosing public or top 10. All of these options are preset for your convenience. So for example, if I go into public and click gap up and click scan, and this will show stocks that have gapped up today so far. So it's worth checking out some of these preset scans as there might be something that already meets your search criteria. So if you want to create your own personal scan, I'm just going to close these tabs here first. And we're just going to come up to this button here that says add filter, click that. Scroll down to stock here and click that. Then we come across here and we'll keep the setting on ask. We'll set a minimum price of $2 and we'll set a maximum price of $12. Then let's add another filter. So we click add filter, stock. And this time we'll choose percent change, which is just down here. Click that and we'll choose a minimum of 5% and we'll leave the maximum open. Then from here, We'll just click scan and it will bring up the results here as you can see. Now you can continue to add more filters and get more defined results if you prefer. Just remember that it is important to look for shares that have high volume as they'll be easier to trade. If the volume is too low in a given stock you may have liquidity issues and that can make it more difficult to trade. So if you want to save this watch list just go over to the right hand side of the screen and just below the scan button click the tab with the three lines on it and then scroll down to save as watch list and here you can choose a name that you like and then click save so for example let's just call this sample watch list and we'll click save then to find this saved list go to the left hand side of the screen and if it's not already open there's a small arrow just here which you'll click so I close it there if it's closed you click this arrow it opens up and then we scroll down to the plus button here, click the plus button, and this will give you the option to choose from watch lists, which is right here. So you click watch lists, which is here, and we click the button in the center, we scroll up to personal, and then we click sample watch list, which we just set up, and that will come up just here. So from here, you can link this watch list to show up on your charts and trade settings. So first, we'll go to the top of the page and click on the trade button here. Then next, on the small button that is next to the stock ticker, here, click this button. And then for instance, let's choose four green. We'll click that. We come back down to our watch list and we find this little button here, which allows us to link it. So we click the same four green button here. And from there, you'll be able to just click on any stock in the watch list and it will automatically come up for you to see the charts and relative information. And that's pretty much it. So if you've found this video helpful, please consider subscribing and hitting the like button as it really helps with the YouTube algorithm. And if you have any questions at all, please leave a comment below and I'll get back to you as soon as possible.